guys, so today I am filming a different sort of video, as I'm sure you could tell by the title. This is going to be my first first impressions video, and it is over this foundation right here. Um, this is the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation by CoverGirl. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very similar to the Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. I have it in the color 210 Medium Beige, and this foundation claims to be a fresh complexion oil-free foundation. It's one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends easily to even skin tones and reduces shine all day. It's oil-free, won't clog pores, suitable for sensitive skin, and lasts all day. So this is what it claims to be, and if it is these things, then I'm sure it would be a great summer foundation. This has been out for at least a year, if not two now, but I think just like a year or so, like last summer. Um, but I saw this and I was like, wow, like this would be a great everyday foundation for the summer because I hate caking it on if I'm just wearing a natural look. So I was really curious to see how this would be and I thought maybe some others might be as well. So today we're going to be testing this out and I will be going to cheer practice here in like two hours and we're doing a dance and we'll be sweating and we'll be stunting and stuff like that. So it'll really put this to the test to see if it's oil free. It might be too much just because it's not supposed to be some crazy foundation, but we will see. And so I'll check back in after cheer to see how this looks and a little later tonight and then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So let's just go ahead and get into the demo. Okay, so I have my hair pulled back and I'm ready to go. I'm going to prime just because I use this primer every day no matter what. So I'm just gonna do my makeup just how I would every day but just use this foundation so I can just see how it would be because I like the way I do my makeup and I wouldn't really change it like I would never I would never not set my makeup or I would never not prime or use concealer so I'm just gonna treat this foundation like it's any other one that I use so I'm priming with the Nivea Men's post shave balm as I always do and then I'm gonna go ahead and do one half of my face with a foundation brush and I'll go ahead and do that now and then I'll use a beauty sponge on the other half. Okay, so this seems to be a pretty good, I just got that in my hair I think, I don't know. This seems to be a pretty good color match um, because I am a little tan. I mean, I'm not like super tan but I have freckles so my freckles do make this like, oh wow. Okay, so right away I'm noticing that it blends out like seamlessly with a brush. There's no streaks from the brush, nothing. Wow, okay. And I don't know if you can tell, but like that has great coverage already. Wow, okay. I didn't think it would be this full coverage. Not in a bad way, like I wear full coverage foundations. Sorry, I was covering the camera. I wear full coverage foundation, so this is a good thing, but I didn't think it would be like full coverage. Okay. Oh my gosh, that looks so pretty on the skin, and it, like that took me no time at all to blend out. Look at that. Like that's one side, and that's the other side. Oh my god. And it's not like, it's a really nice satin finish. It's not matte. It's not wet and dewy it's just like a really nice satin finish okay so now I'm just gonna do the other half of my face with a sponge now this side might not have as much coverage just because um, sponges like sheer foundations out so I might have to use a little bit more product but I like sponge applications the best because I think it just looks the best that way so we'll see how this looks Okay, it's blending out super easily, but the sponge always blends out well, but this side I used the foundation brush on that blended out well anyway, so I don't know. I think the one with the sponge kind of has more of like a, um, I think it feels better. Like, I don't know, when I go like this, this side feels a little drier. Like, I feel like it just needs a sponge, but that's what I normally do with my foundation anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the sponge to sort of blend it out and give it some hydration. Okay, so when I touch it, it feels a little tacky, um, and it transfers just a little bit, but not a lot. Here, I'll do just like a... 
I did it on my pointer finger right here, and you can barely even see it. Like, it's... You probably can't see it at all, let's be honest. So it feels tacky, but it doesn't feel like a sticky foundation. Like, you should just set it like you would any other foundation, and it feels like it'll be fine. Um, the coverage looks great. Honestly, this I'm like super shocked by the coverage that came out of this. I thought this was going to be a really sheer, sort of like dewy foundation, and no, like it... It looks good. Like, it looks really good. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom you in even more. Sorry, I just, I love this sponge. It feels good. Now I'm going to zoom you in even more so you can see what it looks like on the actual skin. Okay, so here is one side. Okay, so now I'm just going to... Finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna do very minimal makeup, so I'm gonna let you watch me what I do to the rest of this foundation. And um, yeah, so I'll, I'll just speed up this process, but this is the rest of my makeup. <laughs> see I have finished my makeup look this has just been the makeup look I've been wearing a lot lately it's just a really fresh summery makeup look and I didn't think there was any other makeup look to pair better with this so 
as of right now, I, um, I really like it. It has a lot better coverage than I thought, and it's just, I didn't expect it to be that much because it retails at $6.94, and that's really cheap for a foundation. Like, I have some foundations from the drugstore that are like $12, $13. Like, $6.94 for a foundation is a really good price point, especially if it has this amount of coverage. And it looks like, I don't know, my skin just looks really, really good from it, and I really like it. So, as of right now, a plus my makeup blended beautifully on top of it it didn't lose any color it hasn't oxidized any um, it looks good so I obviously I just got done wearing putting my makeup on I haven't had any chance to see how it wears throughout the day so I'm going to go ahead and go to cheer here in a few in an hour or so and then I will get back to you on my thoughts after that and then I'll probably check in for sure once, maybe twice later on in the night before I take it off and tell you my final opinions on it. So, yeah. I'll uh, see you in a bit. Right now it is 11.48. Hey guys, so I'm back to check up on how the foundation is making it through the day. I put it on at about, what, noon? And it's now about 5 o'clock, so I've had it on for about 5 hours. Um, it seems to be holding up pretty good. I made it through cheer with it. We were stunting, so it did like wipe off my nose and my chin, but that would happen with any foundation. But I do notice um, just like a little bit of natural shine because I was obviously sweating and it's kind of humid out. And some shininess around here, but that's normal with any foundation that I wear. So I don't really notice anything dramatically different. It still looks the same as when I applied it for the most part. Um, I might touch up a little bit, but it seems to be holding up pretty good. No better or worse than any of my other foundations. Um, I really, I noticed that I really like how I can still see all my freckles through it because I love my freckles. Like I hate covering them up, but I can still see them through it, but my skin still looks very like polished, I guess. So yeah, nothing but good things to say. I'll be back in how many hours? I don't know. In a while. I'll, I won't be back for a while. Before I take it off, I'll let you know my final thoughts. But right now, nothing's really changed, and I'm actually really loving it, and I continue to be impressed by it because of the price point, and I'm upset that I didn't know about it sooner. So, yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Bye. All right, you guys, I'm back for my final check-in on how the foundation is going. It is 11.52, which I feel like this was pretty close to the time I applied it, so 12 hours ago. Um, and yeah, it's it's on, obviously, like I've had a full day of wearing it. I wore it to cheerleading, as you can see, it's just, it's basically done though. but any foundation would be. And yeah, I would say it's not as last, long lasting as some of mine, but overall, I think it looks fine. If I would have touched it up or sort of worried about it more it would probably look a little better at this time but I'm not worried about it um, basically overall I am pleased with the foundation it claims to do everything it says um, oil free I am naturally oily so I don't think any of that came from the foundation it didn't make me any more oily than I already am um, won't clog pores it doesn't seem to but I don't really I won't really know until I take off my makeup, I guess. Um, suitable for sensitive skin, didn't irritate my skin all day, it's been very comfortable all day, and lasts all day. It's still on my face, clearly. It may not look the greatest, but it's on there. So, overall, I would give the... Mm, I would give it like a 9 out of 10, probably, just because of kind of how it's rested. Um, Something I did notice was it was a little drier when I first applied it. I think that's maybe because it's oil free so it takes your skin a second to um, like get used to it. So I had to make sure I set it with a spray, like a face spray, because it was a little like dry. I don't know. Um, other than that, the longevity of it was great. The coverage was a lot better than I thought. It made my skin look really healthy and I think for... $6.94 I think I said it was, or six, almost $7. I think the price point is very good. So yeah, overall I 
like this foundation a lot and I will continue to use it. I'll probably use it um, tomorrow and for the days to come just to make sure I really like it and see, find a little more things out about it. So that is, that is it. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. I've been shopping and I went to a movie. I'm going to bed.